Numbers 3, verse 2. The names of the sons of Aaron are Nadab the firstborn, Avihu, Eleazar, and Itamar. These were the names of the sons of Aaron the priest, whom he appointed and ordained as Kohanim. So Aaron the Kohen, whom he appointed and ordained as Kohanim, as priests. So his sons, Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Itamar, Aaron's sons, were priests. If you want to go to the job of the priests, it's all laid out in the Torah. So they were very well acquainted and suited with um, the Torah of cleanliness, going into the temple, handling the sacrifices, um, teaching the people, preparing the people for holiness, etc., etc. They were very well acquainted with all, with all of this. They knew exactly how to do it, exactly what Yahweh told them to do. They've been doing it. These were adult children at this point, and they were appointed priests to carry out the sacrifices. It was a normal, everyday thing. Like you would wake up and make your coffee. For them, they woke up, and they performed the sacrifices. They knew what to do. And that's a long way around. I just want you to understand. Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar, and Itamar were appointed and ordained. They were made for by Yahweh to be priests in his tabernacle, in his temple. We get to verse 4. But, so that they were real, they did sacrifices all the time. They knew exactly how to do it. But Nadab and Abihu died in the presence of Yahweh when they offered unauthorized fire before Yahweh in the Sinai desert. And they had no children. Now I'm going to be bold here. And I know I'm going to have some come for me. But I'm going to say it. Um, the more I study out the Shabbat, and because I'm, 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 I'm about to attempt to post um, the importance of Sabbath to Yahweh. I want to get it right. I want to, I really want to like bear his heart on the video, you know, not my thoughts, not my, my studies. I, I really want to bear his heart on things. And um, I opened up to this chapter and it's been, it's been a chapter that has been on my heart for a few weeks now. Because, you know, you have all these different types of calendars. Now, I'm not calling anybody out. I'm just a, trying to present something that maybe we haven't thought of yet. It's easy to get into this mindset of Nadab and Abihu. Where, oh, well, I've been doing this, I've been doing this, I've been doing this. Surely that I can do this because I was appointed and I was made for it when... They died in the presence of Yahweh because they offered unauthorized fire before him. Now, mind you, they had been doing this probably their whole lives. They, they understood how to do this. But we aren't given exactly what they did. We just know that they stepped out of their um, appoint, appointed role, the appointed role in their ordination, and took things into their own hands and did it theirself. All because they probably convinced themselves that, oh, I'm appointed, I'm ordained for this, I can do this. Despite the fact that Yahweh never commands us to calculate Shabbat, never. I mean, you can't get to that conclusion without draw, pulling in the feast days, but Shabbat is not a feast day. It's not, it's not a day for a feast day. It's a day seven day. If he didn't make Shabbat, we would still have the feast days. It's not a part of the feast days. You can't get to that conclusion without it. Despite that, because he doesn't give clear command, clear command like he does the feast days on how to calculate Shabbat, and you're pulling from different scriptures, it is like you are putting yourself into Nadab and Abihu's situation. Where you think that just because you are called and uh, anointed and given the beauty of the knowledge of Torah, that you can offer unauthorized fire and, you know, do things on your own. I mean, that's what Nadab and Abihu did. They 
took it upon themselves to do things on their own without Yahweh's approval, and they died because of it. All because, I assume, now it's not stated, but I assume it's because, oh, well, I'm a priest, I, could, I get to do it. That is terrifying to me. Like, it really is terrifying to me. I mean, we all have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, and I'm not telling anybody what to do. But on my end, the fear of God is in me. And I don't want to be caught offering an authorized fire. If I can't find a clear command of him stating how I use the luminaries to calculate his Sabbath, if he does not say that, I am not going outside of my position to do it. I mean, these were priests. They were held to the highest standards when it comes to holiness, cleanliness, and making sure everything was what Yahweh wanted or else sin was not covered. Offerings were not accepted. They had one of, like right below Moses <laughs> and then underneath that Aaron, right below the, the top at the top. They were the, they were the next. If anybody could off, offer a sacrifice, it was the priests, you know? You don't see uh, somebody from the tribe of Naphtali walk on into the temple and be like, okay, y'all, I'm going to be offering my sacrifices today. Ooh. I mean, we see what he did to Korah. Aloud. I don't want to be so bold to say that I can take a little here, a little there, a little, and put it all together and calculate Shabbat when... Day four was used for the feast days. They weren't used for Shabbat. They, day four, if we go back and look in Genesis, was created, appointed, same words as Nate Devin Behu here, appointed, ordained, made for the days, years, Moedim, seasons, which is also months, and signs, power, like signs in the heavens, like blood moon, all those, all those signs of prophecy and miraculous things. I have not seen in that verse where it says it's made for weeks. The week wasn't created yet. The days were created. The month on day four was created. The years were created. The festivals, the appointed times of Yahweh, and the future, the future signs of the times, like blood moons and eclipses and all that, all that stuff. Yahweh was in the process of still creating the weekly cycle because that's his holy, holy thing. Shabbat is the holies of the holies. Only, only certain people were even allowed to touch and carry it. We are not to touch his holy things and meddle with his holy things because we feel entitled to. That terrifies me. I'm not going to add to the word and say that that something was created for something that it wasn't. It terrifies me. And I don't want to be like Nadab and Abihu who died in the presence of Yahweh because they offered unauthorized fire, even though they were appointed and ordained to offer authorized fire. I mean, there are so many other reasons too and so many other other scriptures and, and even lack of scriptures. But on my end... Shoot, and then you get down to um, chapter 3 of Numbers, verse 10. You are to appoint Aaron and his sons to carry out the duties of priests. Anyone else who involves himself is to be put to death. Like, I don't want that to be me. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not called to do any of the duties of the priests, then I'm not touching it. I'm going to heed the words of Adonai and say, leave, leave it to whom it is appointed to. Again, I'm not telling you what to do. You do you, but for me, I'm not operating outside of my anointing. <laughs> and he, he didn't anoint the sun, the moon, the stars to calculate Shabbat. He anointed them for the feast days, the months, the days, the years to look at the signs in the sky and know that, oh, there's a warning coming or there's a blessing coming, like the star of Bethlehem. And I trust Yahweh. If he wants to tell me to do something, he will tell me to do something. And if he tells me to do it, then by darn, I'm going to do it. But if he doesn't say to do it, I'm not going to do it. At the very least, just in case it displeases him and is unauthorized. His holy things are his and they are his to give out. My job is to fear him and I do.
I ain't gonna be no dab and a be who. Mm-mm.